what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video and uh we got some unfortunate news today apparently rhea ripley may have been injured in last week's segment uh with Liv morgan attacking her um in the backstage area um we got this report today is kind of trending right now let's see exactly what's going on this is definitely not good uh considering rhea ripley is arguably the biggest top star not just one in the women's division in all of wwe rhea is like one of the top stars for sure um so we're gonna check this out let's see what's going on here this does not sound good Let's get right into this one. This is on uh, <clears throat> on Rings uh, Ringside News. Rhea Ripley may be forced to vacate championship title after sustaining injury. That sucks. Rhea Ripley <clears throat> journey in WWE has uh, been marked by triumphs and challenges, solidifying her position as one of the company's top female athletes. Despite facing criticism along the way, despite any backlash she may encounter. Uh, Ripley's popularity continues to soar, a testament to her undi uh, undeniable talent and resilience in the ring. At WrestleMania 40, Ripley emerged victorious in a hard-fought battle, further cementing her legacy as a formidable competitor. However, her celebration was sh short-lived as she found herself targeted by Liv Morgan on Raw. The following weeks uh, sparking um, what could potentially evolve into a heated rivalry unfortunately the joy of her recent triumphs have been overshadowed by reports of Rhea, uh, ripley's injury sustained during the backstage brawl with morgan with speculation swirling uh about the severity of her condition pw insider reports that there are internal discussions within wwe about the possibility of ripley being compelled to vacate her women's world title a heartbreaking prospect for both the champion and her fans as the wrestling world awaits uh updates on ripley's status the uncertainty surrounding her championship reign looms large um, will she be forced to relinquish her title tonight? Um, he's talking about for Monday Night Raw, or whoever uh, wrote this article, talking about for Monday Night Raw, marking her, uh, marking an unexpected turn in her journey as champion. The unfolding drama surrounding Rhea Ripley's current situation has left many fans utterly shocked. What are your thoughts on Rhea on Ripley's predica uh, pred uh, predicament? Share your uh, reactions and opinions in the comments below um i'm not gonna lie to you this definitely does suck this definitely does suck for uh Rhea ripley um obviously i think the next program that we're gonna have was uh live and Rhea, and you know restart their feud uh storyline wise uh Rhea ripley injured Liv morgan and took her out so this tack attack on her felt justified it was actually pretty pretty cool to see Liv get very aggressive and attack Rhea from from behind you would think it would technically kind of be like a heel like move because Rhea is such a huge baby face even though she's somewhat of a heel or a tweener in a sense and it gives a little bit more character uh development for Liv Morgan to give some edge to her but unfortunately in this segment it from the r rumors and reports, she may be injured. And it would definitely suck if she comes on Monday Night Raw tonight. I'm filming this before Monday Night Raw. And she has to relinquish the title. That would suck. But, here's a but here. They could ultimately make that work to Liv's advantage. Now, we've seen what happened with Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. Obviously, Drew wasn't purposely trying to injure CM Punk. But it happened and it changed uh, the WrestleMania plans for uh, this year. So what did they do? They allowed Drew to kind of expound upon that and build that that uh, rivalry and tension up with turning a real life situation into a story driven situation. And I think if this is true and this happened, obviously Liv wasn't trying to hurt Rhea uh, legitimately. But if this is you know, a true scenario and Rhea has to relinquish the title because of Liv Morgan, then the story writes itself. Liv, per storyline wise, injured Rhea, the same person that injured her months ago, took her out of action. Now she 
somewhat got her revenge. She got her revenge and took out Rhea Ripley and cost her the championship. So it's just one of those type of things where it's unfortunate if this is true, but they can ultimately turn this into a storyline angle, which I do think they would do, would do, and it would it would definitely make Liv one of the top heels in the company because people are gonna boo her, especially Liv gloating about it. People are going to boo her, and that works because now you can turn her as a a a heel that did something you know dastardly, even though. It makes sense for her to do it. And she, you know, per storyline wise, it would make sense for her to want to get her revenge back. But people love Rhea. So that makes her a bigger heel. It gets more heat on her legitimate heat. And then when Rhea comes back from, you know, you know, I don't know if she, depending on how severe the injury is, whenever she does come back from it and, you know, healing up, she's going to be arguably the biggest baby face. Simple. So it works. If this is true, and if she did get injured, it works for everybody in a sense of character development. Now, once again, I don't condone, I don't want nobody to be injured for a good story, but sometimes injuries happen. So it's best if it does play it up like they, what they've been doing with Drew and CM Punk. Play it up. Play it up to really build something. And right here, they may have something. They may have something great. I think they were probably going to do something great uh, with Liv um, with this whole aggressive side of attacking Rhea. But this elevates the story even more if this injury is true. So we'll see what happens on Monday Night Raw. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping Rhea is okay. But if she does have to take a break and heal back up and relinquish the title, it, it works in that sense of now Liv has... An even bigger story, an even bigger uh, momentum as a character shift, and people are going to really boo the hell out of her, and it's going to work to her advantage, and when Rhea comes back, oh, you already know, she's going to be the biggest baby face in the company, people are going to go crazy to see her, so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens here, hopefully it's not an injury, but if it does, they do have an out to create uh, a pretty compelling story but comment down below let me know how y'all feel about this recent news man we're gonna find out tonight to see how true it is and uh hopefully it's not too bad but um we're, we're gonna see how things play out but i definitely want to get y'all opinions on this whole situation but i appreciate all love support road time 50k and i'm still young speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see you on the next one peace